My name is Daniel Hudgens. My name is April Hines, and we are at Virginia Commonwealth University's Nano Characterization Center. As the world progresses, we are always working toward faster and smaller technologies. Nanotechnology has applications in almost every commercial sector that exists, from electronics with smaller computers to cosmetics and a great deal of green energy applications. Here we have a very finely divided iron nanoparticle slurry that is coated in hydrocarbon. We also have a very powerful rare earth magnet, and we can demonstrate that the nanoparticles, when prepared in this ferrofluid manner, have the ability to travel uphill. A ferrofluid is a magnetic nanoparticle that has been suspended in a hydrocarbon. When placed in the proper solvent, these nanomaterials flow much like a liquid. Upon applying a magnetic field or electric field, these particles become solid. Ferrofluids have been utilized in high quality subwoofers and speaker equipment, as well as shock absorbers in luxury vehicles. Nanotechnology is really important based on size. We're just adding a solution that's going to allow us to change the size of the particle as it grows. Different sizes produce different properties. These solutions in front of me are different size gold colloids. Based on the size of the nanoparticle, you can get different color solutions. As you go from larger to smaller, the colors of your gold colloids change. You're gonna see a color change shortly from colorless to purple to red. Stained glass that has been around for many, many years is pretty much just as they're making the glass, they introduce these colored gold colloids into the system. So when you combine clear glass with a colloid, it takes on the color. The focus is starting now to shift into more applied work where we look at not just what the properties are or how the properties evolve as the size changes, but also how we can then incorporate that small particle into an actual device or into a commercial application. Any scientific discipline can be utilized in nanotechnology, from genetics to biology to physics and even chemistry. As many intelligent minds as we have in all of the fields that bridge science, nanotechnology is a way to bring all of those expertise together and solve the big problems of society and technology today.